Welcome to this week's edition of Mountain Outhouse. I'm your host, Jam Jam. This is the craziest to happen in running this week. This week's stories include winners of the Ultra Bromance of the Year Award, cheaters at the Honolulu Marathon, and the Beer Mile World Championships. Let's waste no time with our first story this week, which is the announcement of who won the inaugural Ultra Bromance of the Year Award. We had some worthy nominations, but only the most deserving bros could take home this award. We didn't know quite what to expect when voting commenced, but honestly, I thought the Hard Rock handholding by Jason and Killian would have run away with this one. We had over 500 votes cast in this decision and want to thank all of you for your participation. So without further ado, here are your top three vote getters. With 16.6% of the vote is Killian Jornet and Jason Schlarb with their Hard Rock handhold. In second place, with 18.6% of the vote, YouTubers Ethan Newberry and Sage Cannaday. And in first place, with 30.5% of the vote and your 2016 Ubodi winners, Jared Campbell and Gary Robbins for their Barkley Bromance. I think we underestimated the Barkley effect. We'll be sending these trophies off to these guys this week. Congrats. We are launching a new segment on the show this week entitled, Can't I Just Run Bro? Our first feature is singer celebrity Justin Bieber, who was recently spotted trail running. Although not everyone can appreciate his style or his music, I think we can all agree how annoying it would be to finish up a nice trail run and be forced to jump into your Escalade. Pfft. Dude just wants to get a run in and he doesn't even have a chance to get a cool down in. Seriously, back off, apples. The Beer Mile World Championships took place this weekend in Texas. This highly commercialized event, organized and televised by Flowtrack, featured a quarter mile road loop in downtown Austin, with several heats, including an open category, in the actual championship races, one for men and one for women. Let's talk women's race first. This event saw a new world record of 6.08 set by newcomer to the sport, Allison Grace Morgan. In only her third Beer Mile event ever, she lowered the world best by one second but was dramatically disqualified after the race when too much beer was left in her bottles. Four ounces to be exact. In the men's race, world record holder Corey Bellmare came away with the win in 4.49, even carrying his own beer opener with him on each lap, maybe a key to his success. The course looked slick out there as this runner took a tumble. In this week's ultra fashion, members of one of the Beer Mile relay teams we're sporting Walmsley shirt lookalikes. I'm just wondering, where's the crop, guys? Jim Walmsley took to the trails in Arizona this week on the Black Canyon Trail, shattering multiple Strava segment course records until he was undermined by one of our very own Maricopa Marauder, Travis Swain. Watch out, Walmsley. There's a new kid on the block. Cheaters at the 2016 Honolulu Marathon? The website marathoninvestigation.com was created to sift through data from large marathon events looking for course cutters and cheaters. They targeted about 13 finishers out of over 22,000 at Honolulu that have suspicious times. Those highlighted missed multiple race mats in the middle of the event, most notably at 15, 21, 25, and 30K, yet posted incredible split times that often earned them age group rankings, Boston qualifiers, and some of these runners even posed with their finisher medals at the finish line without actually running all 26.2 miles. Let's keep these cheaters out of our sport. Thanks to Marathon Investigates for keeping things honest out there. Looking for a job in the outdoor industry? No, we're not hiring yet anyways, but Timothy and Krista Olson are looking for a travel and adventure nanny to help them at home and on the road. Looks like a killer gig for the right applicant, with travel plans in 2017 to the Canary Islands, Malibu, Madeira Island, the Dolomites, Telluride, and Reunion Island in the works. Well, I guess I now know Tim's race schedule for 2017. Check out their Craigslist ad for all the deets. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. If you have any crazy stories to share, tweet us at Mountain Outpost. Have a shitty week. And a Merry Christmas.